Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia. Brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, which Alberta town is named after the nephew of a former governor of Paris, France? Is it A, Nanton, B, Trochu, or C, Oyen? And if you answered Trochu, you would be correct. Armand Trochu was the nephew of General Louis-Jules Trochu, former governor of Paris and president of France's provisional government in 1871. Armand was 44 years old, worked as a stockbroker, was married with a family, and had been a cavalryman. Perhaps his dislike of the French government, the lure of adventure, or the promise of a free homestead played a part in his move to the prairies of southern Alberta. He arrived in Calgary at roundup time in the spring of 1902. Immediately he was enlisted into corralling horses. While he was impressing the hardy cowboys with his horsemanship, the majesty of the landscape was impressing him, and he began to look for a site to have a ranch of his own. In 1903, with Louis de Chaunay, he traveled north along the foothills to Rocky Mountain House, but found no suitable land. His second trip took him northeast from Calgary towards Ditsbury and Three Hills. Here he found a small valley with ample water that seemed ideal for farming, raising cattle, and thoroughbred horses. He bought the land from the Hudson's Bay Company, secured a homestead, built a house, a stable, a corral, and raised fences. Soon his ranch became known as a place where young Frenchmen could come as helpers, and while he was happy for this help, he also had a limited budget. So in 1904, he, Joseph de Wilder, and Leon Eckenfelder joined together to form the St. Anne Ranch Trading Company, and the ranch became a center which other settlers revolved around. In 1906, on a return trip from France, he was invited to dinner with two cabinet ministers. Here he obtained a few small favors, like the construction of roads and bridges, and the opening of a post office to be named Trochu Valley. During the Great War of 1914, Armand, who was too old for active duty, remained in Trochu. While many of the French army officers, who had found a home in Trochu, left the region to rejoin their regiments, most were killed. Poor health forced Armand to return to France in 1917. One can only imagine the heartbreak this caused him. Today you can visit the St. Anne Ranch, which is a provincial historic site. And I would like to extend a special thanks to the Trochu and District Museum for their assistance with this piece of Alberta's history. And tomorrow's question is, Pat Wesley, a matey from Peace River, gave what to the Anglican Diocese there? A, his library, B, his land, or C, his organ? Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!